You might think you want this. Trust me. You don't want this. I don't want this. But I promised. So here goes nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> Hi everybody. Skylar Stardrift here. And welcome back to Skylar's Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Last time, we played through and finished Spyro 2 Season of Flame for the Game Boy Advance. We are five games in at this point and with no sign of slowing down, the Legend of Spyro series itself has eight games that we've got to play. Three on console, three on the DS, and two on the GBA. We're not even at that point yet. We're still going through the main series. Unfortunately, that means going through the rough patch. The game that is next on the list is perhaps the worst game in the series. And that's just not me. That's a lot of people who've played the series. This game is notorious for a lot and is considered to be the beginning of the downfall of the dragon. Oh boy. Well, let me grab my controller if I absolutely must. As we load up the game tonight. Oh no. Welcome folks. To a game that even the PlayStation 2 didn't want to boot. Welcome to that game. That one. Welcome to loading screen. Welcome to the first game on the new generation of consoles. We haven't even hit the main menu, and we've already hit two loading screens. That's how you know, this is real quality! Welcome to Spyro the loading screen. And welcome to that one. Welcome to Spyro and to the Dragonfly. So why does this game have such a bad reputation? Well, the loading screens for a start, there's plenty of those. But who boy. Take all of the quality and life you've come to know about the Spyro series and throw it out the window because they threw the rule book out the window. And amazingly, they even brought Stuart Copeland along the Loray to write the music for the game. I'm not even going to give you the satisfaction of watching the demo screens. We're going to skip ahead and go straight to it. Spyro Brainwash thinks he's Dragonfly. <clears throat> but the loading screens are going to be the least of your troubles. This game is rough. It is considered the worst in the series, and not just that, it's also considered one of the worst video games of all time. 
I'm gonna start on this save file over here. Somehow or another, I've played this game twice. I don't know how. Aside from Spiral and Sparks, these are the right icons we've got to choose from. I kind of want to go with Hunter because Hunter looks absolutely horrifying there. But, I don't know. A small fee? A small fee. Couldn't even finish the game, I hated it so much. Let's get started. Oh boy. Maybe I should have a loading screen counter. Wait for it. <laughs> it's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragon ball. Uh, right, Sparks. Guess who's back? Calling little shorty, nobody invited you. This is an invitation only party. Very clever, dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, yeah. What do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian landmass. Keep thinking, and I will send you back to the place I found you. Unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I'm glad that you asked, Purple Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, Dragonfly. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but you see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, Hunter, don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. I apologize if the volume is so low. Unfortunately, that's one of the issues with the game. A, the volume is low, and B, the music is way louder than the fucking volume of the characters. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back. <laughs> Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is you're gonna have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool! Come on, Sparks! Let's get going! We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? <laughs> Probably not, Spyro, probably not. And so, we've got our quest. Hey look, a loading screen. <laughs> That's gonna be a common sight. I'll try turning it up a little bit, but I won't turn it up too loud, because I know the music in this game is really loud and the voices are really soft, so I'll see if I can change that. Oh boy. 
So in case you didn't catch all of that, this game is a direct sequel, more or less, to Spyro Year of the Dragon. The dragons have now grown up a little bit, and it is time for them to receive their dragonfly companions. Ripto showed up out of fucking nowhere, because why the hell not, captured all the dragonflies and hightailed it. Even sparks went missing, except that's already been resolved. <laughs> Yay? Yay. Alright, so Spyro's got his signature flame breath. And you can already tell this game is going to suck. We take two steps forward and immediately... Here, take this dragon room to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. They're shy and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Use your L1 button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. She's got more frame rate than the whole game. This is our inventory. We can hold five items. You're never going to need to hold five items. Spyro, the magic of this sacred room will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. <clears throat> we kind of need that if we're going to catch all the dragonflies. I'm playing this game on the PS2 version, in case anybody was wondering, and I think that might even be the worst one. Oh, I... As per usual, Sparks will pick up the gems. <clears throat> Pressing the square button allows us to perform a charge attack. Pressing the circle button allows us to breathe flame. And the triangle button allows us to look around. X to jump, X again in midair to glide, and X again whilst gliding to do the hover move. Some things just don't change. Pressing the L1 button changes our breath, as we just saw. And this is a dragonfly. The only problem is... That's the range in your bubble breath. Pretty pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> You better get close up and personal with these things, because they are going to run from you. Hey, it's cool. We've gone from dragon eggs, to fairies, to fireflies, which stopped our breath, to dragonflies. Weird, that. Are you going to tell us about everything? You're going to tell us everything, aren't you? The only problem is... Bubble Breath doesn't break a damn thing. And you can't use it on enemies. So if you're not catching Fireflies, make sure you've got your Flame Breath activated. Does the frame rate feel slow to you? It should. I think this game runs at like 30 FPS and it struggles to maintain that. Alright, Hunter, what do you want? Hey Spyro, you know if you press the X button to jump, then press the X button again in midair. You can glide. Try using your glide to follow me.
just Mario 64 long jumped over there. Well, I suppose we don't have much of a choice in the matter. Way to go, Spyro! I think I see something shiny on that ledge over there. You can get there by hovering. To hover, press the triangle button at the end of your glide. I think they might have even gotten Hunter's original voice actor. And maybe even Spyro's, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly who the voices are in this game, but good grief, man. Nice work, Spyro! And check this out, I found a dragonfly! Here, why don't you take it? Spyro is going to react to every single time we find a dragonfly and actually say their name, which is kind of cool, I guess. Pots. <laughs> okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. If I knew where the frickin' targets were. Two. Three. Four. I mean, I'm assuming these are the targets, right? <laughs> they look like targets to me. They weren't there before. Five. Six. And it's gone. Yeah. Okay, so they were the targets. Unfortunately, I completely missed that. Yeah, you want to tell me about that too? Dumbing it down for you, aren't they? I believe 10 fodder will also give you an extra life, as it always has done. This right here! Remember where this is! Because this leads to the final boss of the game. And thanks to speedrunning tactics and bad glitches that are in this game, you can beat the game in 15 minutes. Less than 15 minutes. I've never done it myself, so I won't be able to show it off here, but trust me, you can beat the game in under 15 minutes. If you are so inclined. Of course, since I'm going for a 100% run, I won't be able to do that. Unfortunately. I also have a sneeze coming up. 
Excuse me. Sneasels. <clears throat> I am not entirely sure if... Yeah, except I don't have electric breath yet. <laughs> so well done. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that's where one of the targets might be, though. Also, one thing that's really funny about this game is that Stuart Copeland, who wrote the music, uh, he basically removed this from his own website. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that black bit across the screen? Get used to glitches, man. That's all I'm gonna say. This game is... When I said this game was rough around the edges, trust me. This game is rough around the edges. <laughs> There's a reason why this one's hated. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before Ripto. So it looks like we needed a certain amount of dragonflies there. Apparently dragonflies are the key to portals as well. Unfortunately, thanks to all the locked areas, we're not going to be able to complete this area quite so quickly. One's your ice breath. Which, unfortunately, we don't have that either. Oh, yeah. Sound volume. We can turn the voices on and off. That's it. <laughs> wow. Amazingly, the uh, menu there has more frame rate than the rest of the game. Alright. Hmm. Spyro, I was dreaming of a genie that turned into a nightmare when these horrible riptops kicked me out of my bed and threw me down this swirly thingy. Maybe the magic of dragonflies will help activate it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ripdox? Ripdox. Ripdox. <laughs> not, not Rhinox? No? Ha, ha, Ripdox? Alright. Sure. Ripdox it is. Sure. All right, looks like I can't glide up there. Let's see if I can do that challenge, eh? I wonder if I can just... Eh. Yeah, easy. 
So you all saw that, right? I went I went through that challenge gate. You saw that, right? I definitely went through that challenge gate. And nope, didn't activate. Yep. Such is the wonders of this game. Oh boy. Two. I feel like I just need to find out where they are, to be honest. Three... Four, five, six... Seven... Eight. Alright, I think I know where they all are now. <clears throat> I think. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, bulldust, I had that. Oh yeah, Spyro also has his head bash move. Jump and press the triangle button. <laughs> what? Two. Three. Four. I was gonna say, I did get it, right? <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. I missed one. All right, hang on. I'm gonna have to learn where that other one is. I was gonna say, come on, Spyro, I know you can get up there. Right, so that's one. Two. Hi, Protoster, welcome on in. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I ran into the wall. I'm not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Uh, I'm. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I was close, but didn't make it. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Six. <clears throat> Seven. And... Eight. Pay attention to when Spyro says, hey, it's, insert dragonfly name here, because sometimes the subtitles get it wrong. It's not often, but it does happen. <clears throat> right, well, we've done everything we can do here, unfortunately. <clears throat> 224 out of 800 gems. Hunter's Lesson, front of the castle. Yeah, there are ten more dragonflies we can get here. But I don't think we can get any more right now. <clears throat> also, we already have the uh, level warp available to us. And, uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, that's it. There are no other levels in, well, in this game. These are your levels. That's it. <clears throat> There's no extra hub world, no nothing. This is it, and all there is to it. Good work, Spyro. There's going to be a lot of backtracking in this one too, I believe. Oh, hey, there's suddenly a lance in here. Pfft. Also, we're just spinning around in circles for this loading screen. Note that we had to load the loading screen. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, were you expecting the game to load? Like, instantly? Nah. It's gotta sit here for a hot minute. There we go. Oh no, Spyro. It looks like the Riptops have frozen all the Dragon Masters. Oh no. You're going to have to use your flame breath to melt the ice and find out what happened here. What do you mean, find out what happened here? You just told me what happened here. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Unfortunately, each level has a ton of gems. And I don't think Sparks has got his gem finding ability off the bat. I don't even know if it's in the game, to be honest. Might have been something that they forgot about. I mean, at least they reused the sound effects. Yeah, you can really tell they were stifling for quality here. Cool, that's another dragonfly for our collection. Alright. Should we go up this way? Let's go up this way. Yeah, 
There's not much here aside from gems. Alright. What else have we got? We have a locked door, so we can't do anything about that yet. The next thing you're probably going to notice about this game is that the areas are really big and open too. With not a whole lot going on. Like I said, and we'll keep saying, rough. Ow. Alright, let's head on over to this area? Sure. Actually, let's try pushing all four shoulder buttons. Yeah, okay, so Sparks does not react, so I don't think we got the gem finding ability here. Ah, Spyro. Thank goodness you had Pop. the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Ritbox would dare invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the Dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remember, Spyro. The way of the dragon is to be a dragon. As we free the dragon elders in this stage, they will unlock the doors for us and allow us to move forward. That's a pit. I did not mean to jump off the edge like that, and then I did. So, I've got no one to blame but myself on that one. Hey, on the plus side, I missed this gem here, so at least we grabbed that. <clears throat> I think for the most part, most of these levels can't be completed on their first playthrough. Or at least a good chunk of them anyway. But, hey, we'll do our darndest. Welcome to the next feature of this game. You're gonna love this one. Remember that obnoxiously long loading screen that we had at the start? Ow. What? Did you know Spyro that most creatures have an aversion to anything above 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit? <laughs> Just throwing in random facts here? Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, welcome to the game's next feature that you're gonna love. Remember that really obnoxiously long loading screen? Well, it didn't load the entire level. <laughs> welcome to Corridors. When the game needs to load something, and trust me, that happens often, you're going to have to wander through a corridor. It's to mask the game's loading screen. You'll notice that when we hit a certain point at the corridor, the game's gonna chug. And that's because it's loading the next chunk of the level. It actually unloads the previous part to load the next part. I'm not kidding you, that's actually what they did. I'm just kind of going to go about things. Because like I said, we're not going to be able to finish everything off here, so... I'll just... I'll just grab what I can see. Hey, gotcha. Alright. Let's 
grab those. That's loud. And now it's going to play like that until we go through it. Yeah, this game's got music glitches and graphical glitches and everything up the wazoo. That is gonna get obnoxious. And it even plays during the frickin' ugh. Good grief. That is overpowering. It's actually overwritten every other sound effect. See what I mean? This game is awful. Spyro, my kite got stuck up in the tree. Could you get my kite out of the tree for me, Spyro? I can't reach it because there's nothing here to stand on, just me. We can't help him until later. But check this out. We've just picked up the electric breath rune. Already. <laughs> That's handy. I wonder if I can reset the, uh... Nope. <laughs> that actually doesn't help it. <laughs> Wow, this game is borked. <laughs> Might actually be able to deload the chunk here by going through the, um... Going through the, uh, loading, s loading section. Or by going through the portal. We can barely hear the music over this too. See what I mean? How did this slip through testing? Anyway, let's see if we can get over there and unload this sound effect by going through it. Good lord, shut up. <laughs> when going through these challenge gates, your current gems are automatically added to your total. And that's just a thing that happens. And I suppose they did that to try and mask the loading screen. They did a really poor job of masking the loading screen because here we are. Alright, here we go. Rings, lanterns, rickshaws, rip docks. Cool. So, rings, lanterns, rickshaws, rip docks. Got it. Oh yay, inverted courses.
Oh, I need to go through them. Okay, hang on. I see. That sound effect looks sounds like it's from Croc. Lanterns. Hang on, I think I was supposed to do a wide turn there. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, that is not solid. That is not solid. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. Cool. That's not solid. Noted. Lovely. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've got supercharge. One. Two. Three. Corridor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Into the air. Do a complete turnaround. Ugh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Got it! No thanks. Now. Let me see here if there is a... I just want to see if there's an extra challenge here, because I'm not sure. Is this the Spyro that you fight the final boss with riding a UFO thing? No, that was Spyro Year of the Dragon, I'm afraid. <laughs> also, hi, Stray Jacket. Welcome on in. Hey, it's, Rashomon. it's a Digimon? <laughs> oh, snap. Race the ninjas. Mm 
Use red dots to guide you, but you use, well, your previous knowledge of Spyro games <laughs> to get speed boosts. Search for speed boosts, search for power-ups, complete the course. Pretty simple stuff. If you played Year of the Dragon, then you know what to expect from a speedway level. So at least there's that. Whoosh! And you get a really solid speed boost out of these boosters. Whoosh! I missed it. <laughs> Apparently that didn't count. <laughs> As long as we hit the speed boosts, we'll be fine. Oh, there's a speed boost down there. Huh, didn't know. Noted. See if I can hit that on the next lap. If I remember, it's there. Don't mind me. Oh, that's the second lap, is it? All right. I'm still on third. So there's no sign of second or first. Oh no, there's second. Just overtook him. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Gotta go. A missile out, out way over there. Anyway, we're first, so it doesn't matter. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a blessing or a curse, but apparently they forgot to put any um, any secret challenges in this speedway. I mean, I'm already done with it, Sparks. I've got no reason to stay. <laughs> Good grief.
Hopefully this portal shut up now. But we'll soon find out when we get back to the main area. Sometimes there's just going to be... I will apologize, but there's just... Sometimes there's just going to be these weird audio glitches and there's going to be jack shit I can do about them. Very unfortunate. There we go, that sorted that out. Unfortunately, all of the enemies respawned, even though they've already been killed. That's alright. Anyway, don't forget too, we got that electric rune, so we'll be able to get the electricity breath. But for now... Spiral-san. I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. Three more to find! Speaking of more to find... There we go. Take care of you guys. Phew. Oh, hey, look, another corridor. Like I said, there's going to be plenty of these. Cool. That one was a little bit smaller. Oh, hey, look who it is. that, and grab that. Look who it is! Spirits guide you on your way. Oh, he's not going to do anything. Cool. <sighs> ah, Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Yeah, so they got, uh, Moneybags' original voice actor as well. A small fee? Hi, Rhino. Welcome on in. Pay Moneybags the small fee? Sure. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. But look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. It's inspiration for my poetry. So he did become a haiku poet, even though in Spyro Season Advice he told us that becoming a haiku poet was not exactly profitable. Fine and you. I'm doing well. Thanks, Spyro. These 
gems. So, fun fact. This is the first and last time we will see money bags throughout the entire game. <laughs> no more small fees. It's funny too because he looks he looks like he's going to appear on other levels because he looks like he's um he looks like he's dressed to match the world's theme. No, he's just dressed to match this world's theme. He will never appear again. Throughout the rest of this game, he's gone. I, I'm not sure if he's got a replacement though. I'll, we'll have to figure that one out. Spyro was my childhood game. It was one of many childhood games for me. This was not one of the games from my childhood, however. And thank God it's not. <laughs> and I feel sorry for anyone who had to go through this growing up. Good work, Spyro-san. Those rip talks don't seem to be much of a challenge for you. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. I mean, your destiny. Now, I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I mean, destiny, Spyro. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> cool, he's gonna open the next gate for us. What, why? This game is notorious for being the worst game in the franchise. Oh! Fell a little short there. And the dragonfly laughed at me. <laughs> uh, okay, where am I? Oh, I started, okay. Yep, I'm with it now. <coughs> Started back over here. This game is n this game is not good. <laughs> Trust me on that one. The issues become very apparent. They're they're a little bit stagnated now, but trust me, this game is rough. And I don't mean in terms of difficulty, although, there are some challenges. Alright. Let's see if we can catch this firefly. Uh, I think this one's another dragon with a kite stuck, isn't it? I've been trying to climb this bonsai tree all day. There's something shiny up there, and I just know it's the kite I lost last summer. Can you save my kite, Mr. Spyro? That tree is so hard to climb. Maybe there's another way to reach the kite. Oh, it sure is hot out here. Hmm. Hot, huh? Well, unfortunately, we don't have the necessary capability to do anything about that at the moment. Hey, an extra life. We'll take that. <clears throat> Especially since I seem to be falling off of the edge of the world a lot. Come here, you. Grab these gems whilst I'm standing over here. Where are you going? Gotcha, finally.
Whirlwinds do what they always have. Um, sure, I don't know why I pulled that pose. But sure, I guess. Alright, cool. Looks like we can move on. Uh, not seeing... No, there's nothing over there. Alright, cool. So, yep. Definitely time to move on to the next owl. To the next owl. Sure. Next area. Let's roll. It's gotta say, Sparks. I hope you pick that up. I like how Sparks just, uh, not Sparks, Spyro just knows the name of all of the dragonflies just by looking at them. I wish I was that good with names, good grief. Hey look, another corridor. Oh no. Um, I hope that gem didn't just face through the floor, because it certainly looked like it did. Ugh. Do I have to do this one? Alright, well... I suppose we have to. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You want rough around the edges. Try this one on for size. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gate. Will you clear out the tank training? How do I control the tank? Shoot with the circle button, you can raise the turret with the square button, and lower it with the X button. Try holding down the triangle button for targeting mode. Turn the turret with the L2 and button and the R2 button. You can recenter the turret with the R1 button. Would you clear out no problem, I guess. I can't seem to move backwards, so this is just going to be awkward moving around. One down, 20 to go.
Why did that shot curve so much? Ow. Uh, is there anything in here? No? Alright. Excuse me, thank you. I keep pressing the L2 and R2 buttons to strafe, and there's no strafing. Oh, well, you just shot that for me. Thanks. Oh, hang on. It's back over this way. It's this other direction. Nothing. Alright. I had to check it out, make sure there was nothing over there. Not gonna lie, I wish this game had a map screen. Or a map. Okay, raise. Raise, lower. I'm willing to bet each and every single one of these rocks is another tank behind it. And it sure bloody looks that way. Nothing behind any of those. All that. However, there is that tank over there. Thank you. Sixteen down. Uh, is this another pathway over here? No, it's just a weird indentation in the wall. Alright. Well, it doesn't look like there's any gems here, so we should be alright. Corridor, corridor. This game's full of car riddles. I thought I shot you quick. I guess I'll just shoot you again. Look out. It's another car riddle. Ow. Nineteen. I've shot twenty. I just need to shoot this guy one more time, and that'll be number twenty-one, and we're done here. Well done, Private. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful enough to survive the tanks. As a reward. I'll let you have the dojo mascot. Hey, it's Cub. Cub. 
If you'd like, I can set up some more dummies for you. Would you like to do some target practice? No thanks. That's too bad. But I'll have this tank ready for you when you change your mind. So apparently it's entirely possible to get all of the gems in this stage, but it's not entirely possible to get all of the dragonflies. There's one dragonfly we will miss in this area. But, as we got to backtrack anyway, there's not too much of a point. Oh, that's just sitting here. Cool. I'll take that. Alright. Let's grab that. Chance of meatballs, right? Okay, so there's definitely nothing down there. This is just a dead end. I can't walk through that, apparently. Sounds like something just died then. Give over. Good grief. took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. Remember Spyro, find and return the remaining baby dragonflies. They are the fortune of the dragon realms.
true. You're just in time to help me. RJ and Rusty were playing with my kite, and Rip Tops came by, kicked sand in my face, and threw it up in the tree. I hate the taste of sand. Aww. If I could breathe ice like a big bad dragon, maybe I could get my kite down. Yeah. In case you weren't entirely sure on what to do, you need the ice breath there. You can use the ice breath to freeze the baby dragons, stand on them, and then access the kites. You'll need to do that three times. That's the exit portal there, so we don't need to go through that. But we will go through and grab these gems over here. Hey look, another corridor. Time for another loading chunk. Alright, I don't think we grabbed all the gems here. Six hundred and ninety-eight out of seven hundred. Yeah, so we missed two. Uh, hmm. I suppose we can come back for them. We got to come back to the stage anyway. So I'm wondering if that's maybe the play. Let me see here. Hang on. So the dra the gem oh by spire, donk. <laughs> the um the gem finder ability is in this game. After you beat the final boss, <laughs> so that's fun. Alright, well, we can head on to the second level then. Which I actually believe is one of the most annoying dragonflies in the game. <laughs> Ironically enough. Of course, the first thing to do is unlock our electric breath. As soon as you get a new breath ability, it's in your best interest to unlock it. Pyro, the magic of this sacred room will grant you the power of electric breath. Now we just need to find the next gate. Was the gate over this way, or was the gate back that way? This is electric breath! Great. So we get more gems. And another corridor. Hmm. 
Thank you, Sparks. I already experimented with the controls, but thanks. <laughs> Hi, Dark One. Skylar, hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Hope you are as well. Sorry, sheep, I wasn't even aiming for you. It just sort of happened. Okay, that one I was kind of aiming for. <laughs> new area means new gems. I'm doing good. That's good to hear. I believe that there is the entrance to Crop Circle Country. You're acting as though we've not done this before, Spire. How do I activate the challenge? I don't see any buttons or switches. Top and press the X button while moving down with the analog stick. All right. Wow, that's a lot of dragonfly, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Hop aboard. But beware, the space cows. They're everywhere. Everywhere. I believe that is a difficult challenge. And I think this is actually the next stage. Hello, Spyro. You need to collect more of those dim air bugs. And I should have this honeycomb raft working like a charm. Well, that should do it, Spyro. Hop aboard the raft and get ready for the honey moss rapids. Why did he say his extra line of dialogue? Why did he assume that I had this... What the fuck is wrong with this game sometimes, I swear. I've never seen Spyro using a ladder, but I've only played 2 and 3 a long time ago, so that might just be a thing in this one. It's strange that the dragon needs a ladder to go on high places. Wings? What are those? Uh, actually, Doc, um, ironically enough, Spyro learns to climb in Spyro 2. Ripto's Rage slash um, Gateway to Glimmer. Then he maintains it. So he just automatically knows how to climb from then on.
Unlike Mario, who continuously forgets everything he learns in every single adventure. Aside from jumping, of course. Just not memory. Memory and brain are great. <laughs> Boy, I know that feeling. Now, I don't know. I'm thinking it might be a little late to start the next stage. And the reason I say that is because there's a Nintendo Direct in an hour. And I kind of want to watch that. And I feel as though if we start the next stage, we're not going to have nearly enough time. Bash any enemy that gets in your way. Sparks, you finished a long time before you actually finished speaking. <laughs> Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll look around this area, because I reckon that's probably going to take some time anyway. But we'll probably call it a stream there. I'll just grab what I can around these parts. I suppose, technically speaking, you could say that this is the second hub world? If you really, really, really wanted to say anything about it. Boy, am I glad to see you. You might be able to get this boat to work if you had enough dragonflies. But there's savages on that island. Savages, I tell you. I need 15 dragonflies. I've almost got enough, so this is probably going to be the third level. As per usual, Spyro can swim. Again, another skill learned in Spyro 2. Uh, but he... C and he doesn't need to uh, breathe underwater either. But... He can't use his breath. So all of our breath attacks are useless. All right. Well, we do have that electric gate challenge. Let's see if we can do that too. <laughs> Makes sense. It's better than every game series having you forget everything in every game. Yeah, I agree. I do like how once Spyro learns things, he's got them for good. Alright, where have we got the electric sappers? Two. Two. Yep, as I expected, there's one over here. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, don't know if we're going to make it in time. Eight. Did I get it? I got it. Phew.
There we go. JRPG reaches level 50 in the game. Next, I'm just gonna boop on the head back to level 5, and that's if you have a save of the previous game. <laughs> this game's you forget every move. Hi, Mark, welcome on in. To be fair, in some cases, level progression is tied to those abilities. It's how they pace, is how they pace how far you can go in the game at certain points of it. Yeah, it's kind of like Spyro and his breath abilities. He seems to forget those. He doesn't forget his basic abilities like gliding or, well, more importantly, like head bashing or uh, swimming or climbing, but he does forget his breath abilities almost constantly. Mark with the stretch. All right, we can do that. Now, I don't know how long this next level is going to take. And I kind of want to finish the stream up at 9.45. So... We'll start it. I reckon I reckon we'll go for it. But at nine at nine forty to nine forty five, I'm gonna take the L. If we're not done, we're not done. Let's go on up to the well, I completely missed it, but it's counting anyway. Okay. <laughs> Such is the wonders of this game. Because I know that this area, particularly this area, has a very, very, very nasty challenge. And a lot of people get turned away as soon as they encounter it. This is not a good one. First level wasn't too bad. But now the game really, really shows its true colours. Welcome to the second stage of the game. And the one that turns many people away. Welcome to Crop Circle Country. Howdy, Spyro. Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. And I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> you will? Golly thanks. You just need to go round back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. Notice the frame rate? Yeah, that's the least of your worries here. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna tell me about these two. <laughs> Be careful not to get a headache. Uh, and there was a gem back over this way too. I don't think the players experiment on their own. Let's assume they're stupid and tell them to their face. I also feel like this is definitely the most handheldy Spyro game. That's for bloody sure. I feel like as though Sparks has told us about more things than he has ever done in the past three games, plus the GBA games. Looks like the fodder for this level is going to be chicken. Ow. 
So yeah, we'll we'll end the stream at 9.45, regardless of how far I am in this stage. We'll just save it and get out, all right? So that I can get ready for the Nintendo Direct. I'm not gonna be streaming the Nintendo Direct. I'll be watching that with a friend, as I usually do. But uh, yeah, I will, I will jump out. Hi, you're rubbish to catch. Got you easily. Oops, there's the hint, but let you disable them. Yeah, I don't think there is an option to disable it in this game. There's an option to disable the help in um, Spyro 2 Season of Flame for the GBA, if you so wish. But not in this game. Uh uh. Cool. So that was. I don't think that was one of the difficult dragonflies, but I do remember having a time with that one. Anyway. We're done down here. We can head on back around this way. Take care of you, knock you down there. Thank you for dying. You know, this was the perfect opportunity to bring the space cows back. Considering Hunter has a trouble with them. Bit of history with those. Uh, alright. That guy is standing on a gem, so I don't know how I'm going to get that gem out from underneath him. So there's nothing in here. Hey! Hey, it's midnight. Cool. He'll back up. feeling about this. <laughs> ah yes! That spawns a flying saucer. You know, there was that pathway at the beginning of the stage, and I'm kind of curious about it. Let me go up on that ledge over there first. Flying Sorcerer, I summon thee. Ooh, that's a lot of gems. I'm 
so is this. He's giving them to me on a silver platter out here. Cool. Alright, so where did that other area go? Also, there's another 10 gem there, so I'll grab that on the way through. Since I won't be getting the, um... Ability to search for gems anytime soon. Oh, this just exits out here. Okay. Alright, so there was absolutely nothing of value there. Cool, that's good to know. Let's call that flying saucer back down and keep moving. I would certainly like to wrap this level up, but we'll see how we go. Oh, for Pete's sake, I fell off. I'm back here, you. There. Alright. Anything around this tree? No? Oh no, I fell in the gap. Deliberately. Because there's gems down the gap. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Ups a daisy. Alright, give me that one. Cool. Oh, really? Sometimes you just gotta look around a bit. <laughs> oh lovely, a challenge portal. <sighs> what do we gotta do this time? Please don't be another tank challenge. I'm pretty sure there is one here. And it is not good. <laughs> I'm not sure how many tank challenges there are in the game, but they only get worse. <laughs> Unfortunately. There's a space riptop holding that dragonfly hostage. If you activate all the platforms around the tower by jumping on them, It'll lower the tower down so you can rescue it. The temperature trial of the platforms. Use your head smash move to activate the green buttons. Use your lightning breath to activate all the electrical poles. When everything is activated, the center platform will drop down and you can reach the riptock. That's all we gotta do. So use the head smash and use the electric breath. Oh, where are we going? We're going this way. That's button one.
I don't think there's a time limit here. That's button two. Which opens up the electric gates. Or the electric poles, I should say. Two. Three. Hi Skylar, how has Ender the Dragonfly treating me? Well, I mean, it's treating me okay for now, but I expect it's going to make me hate it sooner or later. It always does. Um, alright, so this just happened. Whoa! Also, hi Spyro. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh, stop! Please stop. <laughs> do not fall off. Do not fall off. Under any circumstances, do not fall off. Yep, not a favorite Spyro game for me. Oh, it is not a favorite of mine either. I don't even know why I completed this game twice. Somehow or another I did though, according to my save file. Cool! So the Reptoc is down. So all we gotta do is take him out, and that'll do it. Yeah, doing well. Good to hear. Well, that's the spirit. Purple dragon sure has some spunk. Now, here's a dragonfly for you, son. Yeah, I've played it only two and a bit of three. Honestly, Doc, you're not missing out on much. <laughs> There's a reason people recommend that you skip this one. <laughs> Attempt the trial of the platforms? No. Never. Thank you. Eventually, when the game loads. I would like to try and finish this level before I drop out for the direct game. <laughs> Something tells me we're gonna get halfway through this stage. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of this giant portal ear socket. Ear socket, that's a word. Before we have another audio glitch. Really? You didn't even shoot me, mate. You just... Pointed at me. But sure, okay. Take, take, take the W, I guess. Uh, give me that. And some of that. And one of those. And take care of you. Cool. Do not like how we're basically zigzagging through these areas either. To make sure we grab all the gems. Oh, I missed that. There we go. Gimme. Gimme. See, now you're shooting me. You're also shooting like one of those cows inspired. Yeah, Spire 2. One of the space cows in there. Uh, alright. Uh, let's look around this area, I suppose. Okay, there's those. those, and I will take some more health. Oh, hey look! Space cows! There they are! Sure enough, we found them.
Lovely. Uh, hmm. That just looks like it leads to a bunch of gems up there, so it looks... Okay. So we should be alright to move on then. By zapping this. Because it doesn't look like it leads anywhere. It just looks like it leads to more gems. I summon the power of UFO! Where the fuck is it? There it is. They are really handing the gems to you on this stage. Like, a lot. <laughs> At least that corridor was pretty short, and on to the next area. Skyler, check your Discord messages. I will in a sec. Give me all the stuff. I typically don't like checking my Discord messages whilst I'm live. I'll check them in a sec. Cool, I did pick up everything. There, and alright. There are some hay bales over there. Lovely. Oh, great. Looks like we got a super flame power up. Ew, it's into the dragonfly. Oh no. Hi Zay, welcome on in, buddy. Uh yeah. It's 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 yep. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright. Uh looks like I can use that super flame to take down... these hay bales, right? Or not. Okay, cool. Cool! That's a... that's a thing. Also, apparently there were eight scarecrows? Hmm. That's gonna be fun. Alright. Cause this level's so bloody big. Oh, you worst Spyro game. I've watched this cast to play to keep this world more Spyro games. Uh-huh. Cool. Alright. So two, three, four, five. Where is... Okay, there's gotta be a way up there for a start. And I think I saw a ladder back over here somewhere. Right? Mm, no. I know there's a... There was a ladder around here, I saw it. It was on this tower, wasn't it? Yep, uh-huh, there it is. Oh! Fuck. That's not what I wanted to find here. I was expecting that to be a open area, damn it. Oh well. Second challenge gate of the level, let's see what we gotta do. See how we go. I don't even know what this is. If it's a tank, I'm going to swear. <laughs> You hear me, game? This better not be a fucking tank mission. Oh, it's worse! I just knew there was something suspicious about this farm. Space cows are everywhere. And now a big UFO is coming to a 
Chuck Farmer Guild cow. There's a prototype tractor beam on this UFO that you can use to beam up the cows and put them into the corral. Hey, wait a minute. How does Farmer John have a UFO? <laughs> This is him spying. This is the last game. Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? You better hurry. <sighs> oh, I forgot to ask how to control this stupid thing. Square button to fly fast. You will drop that cow, good sir. I said you will drop that cow. Oh my goodness, these guys are relentless. Stop! Cease and desist. Drop the cow. What do they want with the cows anyway? See, the trouble is, when we activate the tractor beam, we can't move. Grouping them in an <laughs> in a gated area outside makes them safer. I know, right? <laughs> now I want burgers! <laughs> okay, so it looks like the cows are just gonna walk straight into the tractor beam. <laughs> Get burgers and chair. Stand still and let me grab you. I thought I missed that one. Home base, all aliens know that. <laughs> awesome, Spyro. You saved all the cows. By the way, I found this dragonfly hiding in the barn. Here you go. <sighs> The gold UFOs, those mean little guys will shoot your eye out. And save them, they're trapped there now. Hey, do it again! Alright, where are ya? Oi! Hands off of my cow! Oi! Ow. It's a good thing you don't have any health here. 
it seems. Oh my goodness. It's like five UFOs trying to go for it. Oh. Um, cool. This cow is, uh, this cow is stuck. And I'm having trouble. Wow, this is rubbish. I got the controls are without even playing. There's three freaking gold UFOs. There's a regular UFO. Right, leave me alone for five minutes. Good grief. Oh no, it's getting captured again. Oh, for Pete's sake, and the gold ones respawn, lovely. Come here, you. I'm gonna blast you out. I'm gonna blast you wide open. Thank you. Ah, great. There's another cow getting captured. Pop you in. Ow. Ow. Cool, I'd like to move. I'm stuck. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was lucky. Come on, cow. Let's move. Great. It's five out of six cows, so there's only one more cow that they can possibly go for, which is over here. <sighs> there we go. Cool, you did it again. Please take my pet dragon flight as my thanks. Make sure to feed her lots of crickets. She just loves them. <laughs> hey, it's J Dubs. J Dubs. <laughs> All right. Do you want to take a? Nah, not right now. What's this guy's face, cows? The truth is out there, Spire. <laughs> Good grief. Alright, well, there's a platform that I want to grab, and then we'll call it a stream there very, very quickly. Because I need to go and get ready for the direct. I've got a friend waiting. That also sounds like my sister's home. Perfect timing on all that. If the game could load. <laughs> Sorry that I missed most of the place for this gem of a game. Don't worry, Spyro, you've got plenty of you got plenty more where this came from. We're not even part of the way through it. Honestly, <laughs> you still you still got a lot of time up your sleeve for this one. Oh my goodness, I can't even grab hold of this stupid ladder. There we go. Thank you, 
Fantastic! Things disappearing. Gotta love it. This game is so rubbish. Oh, right, and we enter the challenge portal so all the enemies have respawned. Alright, cool. Well... Uh, options, save game. Yes. Oh yeah, I remember this being a long, annoying game. Cool. Let's take a save and then we'll raid out real quick. Alright. Anyway, uh, haha, -ha, I hope you guys have enjoyed. There's a zero bouncing around. I hope you guys have enjoyed Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. This is just the start. Sorry this one's a little short, but there is a Nintendo Direct and I had already planned on watching it with someone, so I'm gonna take my leave here. Let's see if we can find someone to rave real quick. Imagine not being a true Spyro fan and not enjoying this game. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I fucking hate this game so much. Uh, alright. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and raid over to Zay, because they're about to watch the Nintendo Direct, so I'll send you over to someone who is watching the Nintendo Direct. Head on over there. I love the Legend of Spyro games. The first... Best three games? Not so much. This is lurking dealing with shoulder pain, but thank you for the stream. Alright, no worries, Briz. Catch you later. I enjoy playing 2 and 1, I have 3, but that was when I was still a kid, so I don't remember much. Honestly, I prefer the um, original trilogy than... The Legend of Spyro, I kind of treat it as its own, like, side thing. And that's not to say it's bad, but we'll get to that bridge when we come to it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, that's how the saying goes. Anyway, let's go ahead and raid Zay as they watch the Nintendo Direct. And I will see you uh, all next time. Cause it looks like looks like Zay's doing a um looks like they're doing a little uh, tier list whilst they wait for the Nintendo Direct. So let's go ahead and raid them. We don't get the chance to raid my good buddy Zay very often, and they are appearing for my Paper Mario stream, so let's go ahead and raid them. Alright, if you want to see more Spire enter the Dragonfly, I don't know why you would want to. But <laughs> if you want to see more Spyro into the Dragonfly, we'll be kick we'll be continuing this next week on Tuesday night. However, for the rest of the week, we will be playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, ironically enough, with my good buddy Zay as well as my friend Meta. Stay tuned for that. We'll be playing that tomorrow night and pretty much every night for the next two weeks, aside from Tuesday night, where we'll be continuing whatever this is supposed to be. Because it sure as shit ain't a fucking entertaining game. <laughs> Have a good night, folks, and I'll see you all next time.